In this video, I will help you to understand transfer paper for inkjet and sublimation printers better. There are so many options out there and we know exactly how confusing it can be. Questions like these are normally being asked. Which paper will give me the best result? Which paper do I use? When do I use it? Why do I need to use it? On what do I use it? Some papers you use for cotton, others for polyester, then some for dark fabric and others for light fabric. After this video, everything will make more sense and you will then know when to use what and it's not as bad as it seems. Let's start with sublimation paper. What is sublimation and what is the process? So sublimation ink is a special ink that binds with synthetic fabric such as polyester, lycra, minimat, nylon, spandex and so forth. Usually any good fabric supplier will be able to point out to you which material is synthetic and which is natural fabric. It is also used on products that are polymer or polyester coated and that can withstand heat from 160 degrees Celsius and higher in a heat press as the sublimation process starts at 160 degrees Celsius. And it is only the ink that transfers directly to the coating or the shirt and has no glue layer like other transfer papers. So sublimation paper do not have a glue layer. So the next question is, what is the quality of a sublimation print? So sublimation is a permanent print and will never fade or wash out. It prints beautifully and gives amazing photo quality. And with a sublimation print, you can't feel the print on the product as it becomes part of the fabric or the coating. And when you do a sublimation print on a polyester t-shirt, for example, you can't feel the print on the t-shirt and it never washes out. It does not crack or peel as other prints do on shirts after a couple of washes and the color stays perfect and bright. Okay, so the next question, how does it work and what can I print with it? You print with Sawgrass sublimation ink and printer on sublimation paper and then, and then transfer it with it to the product. We strongly recommend that you use our Mugget or text print papers which gives you the best clarity and colors. Sublimation is for products such as ceramic mugs, glass products, tiles, hardboard products, bamboo products, mouse pad material, metal, sublimer products and white polyester shirts or polyester fabric and more. We at JG sell more than a thousand top quality sublimatable products that are already coated and ready to be sublimated. You will also see on the sublimatable products that a printable area is normally white. That is because you can only sublimate on white or very light products. Because as the sublimation printers does not have white ink and then your product's color will then shine through the print. For example, if you print a white or a light dark picture on a red t-shirt, the dark will become red. All the light areas of the dark will become red and only the very dark colors such as the black nose will stay its original color. Okay, so the next question, why can you only sublimate on white or very light substrates? So sublimation works like a dye. I'm going to use normal hair dye as an example. You can always dye blonde or white hair black very easily. But if your hair is black and you want to dye it a lighter color, for example blonde or white, you can't do it because your hair will stay black even if you dye it multiple times. You first need to strip all the black out of the hair and then dye it blonde. Another example is if you take a yellow or a lighter color marker pen and want to draw on a black cardboard. You won't be able to see the yellow as the black color of the cardboard is stronger. This is exactly how sublimation works. You need to have a white or a light base color to be able to see the print that gets dyed into the polyester coating or fabric. That is why the printable area on the products should be white or very light for perfect color sublimation images. What paper do I use for sublimation? So the sublimation paper is the Subtex Pro 105 grams or the 120 grams and we also have 
a mugged sublimation paper. I want you all to take note of this to help you understand the other papers better as well when I will be explaining them. With sublimation, you print with sublimation ink on the paper directly and only the ink transfers from the paper to the polyester coated product or polyester t-shirt. It dies into the polyester. Okay, so you might be thinking, why three different types of sublimation paper? 105 gram paper is thinner and transfers a brighter, crisper image on a product. But it does not work well if you want to do a large volume of prints at a time. The ink does take a few seconds to dry. And if you print multiple prints directly one after the other, it might start curling as it comes out of the printer and start jamming the printer or the ink can smear on the pages. So if you want to print one or two sheets, then this is the best paper for quality. This is the paper I use the most. This paper is also the best for sublimer products. The 120 grams paper is thicker and absorbs ink deeper into the paper. So it is immediately dry when it comes out of the printer. So it will work well for larger volumes of prints, although it does not print as bright as the 105 grams. You may press your product a few seconds longer to get a better print. Okay, now the Mugget brand paper. The Mugget brand paper is an Econo paper that is more affordable but not the quality of the Subtex Pro paper. But test the three types of paper and decide which one you like the most. This info is all based on our experience with it. Okay, that's for the sublimation paper. Now we're going to move on to light and dark cotton t-shirts. So the first one will be the white cotton t-shirts. Why can't I sublimate on white cotton shirts or natural fabric using sublimation paper and sublimation ink? That's because there is no polyester in these fabrics. Sublimation paper with sublimation ink will not transfer to it. It will stain a very light print on the cotton and after the first wash, the light print will basically be gone. That's because the ink tries to go directly onto the cotton and it doesn't have any polyester coating to stick to. So what do I use for light cotton shirts and can I feel the print after it is printed? You will use Jetrons S or Jetrons B paper. This is a paper that is coated or layered with a clear polyester glue and on the glue side you will print. So the glue with the print will transfer and stick to the cotton shirt and not the ink alone like with sublimation. So you can print on this paper with a normal inkjet printer ink or with a sublimation ink and then transfer it to the t-shirt. But why do I say sublimation ink now after I said the sublimation will wash out? So the sublimation ink or the normal inkjet ink prints into the special glue coating on the paper and this glue coating then transfers and sticks to your cotton shirt. So yes, you will be able to feel the print on the shirt. It has a slightly raw feel to it, but it is not very hard and not uncomfortable. Next question, are the Jetrons S and B a permanent print like sublimation is? The answer is unfortunately no. Even though you printed with sublimation ink on the Jetrons S paper, the print only lasts as long as the glue it was printed to on the shirt. We tested the washability on this print and it lasts longer than 15 washes. Around about 15 to 20 washes, about 30% of your print will remain. So it is still a very good print, but just not permanent. Okay, so the next paper we're gonna do is the paper for dark cotton shirts. So what do I use for dark cotton shirts and how does it work? You will use multi-opaque paper for dark fabric. The multi-opaque has two layers. The front part you will print and the back part will be thrown away at the end. The front layer is a soft white layer which will be transferred to the t-shirts once you have printed it. The soft white layer is a polyester layer, so you can print it with sublimation ink or with any other normal inkjet printer. 
You can cut your printed design on this multi opaque paper with a vinyl cutter or scissors. So why can I use Jetron's S only for light cotton but not for dark cotton as well? It's basically the same reason why you can't do sublimation on dark products. You will not be able to see the print. The glue that is on the Jetron's paper is clear. So the white of the shirt helps to show the print. And as soon as you put the clear glue coating with print on, on a black cotton shirt, the print will be there, but you will not be able to see it. Go back to the explanation of the hair dye at the beginning of this video if this doesn't make sense to you. That is why they made the paper for dark shirts with a soft white layer because the white layer will transfer with the print to the shirt and the white layer will be the base color for the print and not the black shirt anymore. So now you will be able to see the print. So the next question, can I feel the print on the shirt and what is the washability? Yes, you will feel the print. It is more solid and harder than the Jetrons S. It's not as breathable as Jetrons S or sublimation on a shirt. And the washability on the print is also good. It also lasts about plus minus 15 washes before it starts cracking but will gradually fade as you wash it. Thanks for watching this video and I hope this video really helped you understanding the paper for t-shirts better.